All right, so we're here with Miss Kimberly, Miss Kimberly Banner. And Miss Kimberly, you're here. You've been abused a number of times, I'm seeing. Um, what's up, Kimberly? I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. Um, you want to tell me about uh, a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so my name is Kimberly Banner. Mm -hmm. I'm 31 mm -hmm. years of age. I was born and grew in Manchester. Okay. Yes. All right. So... You've been abused. Uh, you can tell me about a little bit about that. Yes, um, from I know myself, I've been getting abused mm -hmm. physically mm -hmm. and mentally. Mm -hmm. The first time I was being abused was by my parents. Both of them. Yes, both of them. Okay. I've been neglected. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I remember the first time my father came to me and. If I could taste his penis, mm -hmm. and I was so shocked because this was coming from my father, mm -hmm. the first, the person that I supposed to look up to. Right. And how how did that make you feel? It felt really bad. Mm -hmm. it felt yeah. At what age was this? I was at the age seven. Okay. Seven. And he asked me if I could taste his penis, and I said no, no, mm -hmm. no. And he said if I don't keep, if I don't lower my voice, mm -hmm. I won't get anything to eat. Mm -hmm. I won't get anything there to eat. Okay. All right. And and when did the abuse started in your relationship? Because I know, based on the documents here, you've been abused uh, by your partner. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. So I got tired of being abused at home. Mm -hmm. I tried telling my mom, and she ignored me. Okay. So I run away mm -hmm. at the age thirteen. Okay. And I met someone. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember meeting him first time I met him. I was working at a bar, mm -hmm. and he came there. At thirteen, you were working at a bar. Yes, at thirteen. Okay. Age thirteen, and he came there and he said I should come and live with him. Okay. And I thought we were so in love. Mm -hmm. It was like a fairy tale. Yes. Okay. Definitely. And I remember one day I was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And. He said I should go outside for something for him. Mm -hmm. I went outside. And he threw hot water on me. Whoa, why? <laughs> he said, I remember he said that if me think me a woman a yard, uh -huh. me if you go out again and see what you do to me. Because mm -hmm. I used to go out sometimes with my friends. Okay. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't like it, but they were my friends. Okay, what were the type of abuse that he has done to you? <laughs> then I had the body and me alone. Oh, oh. The buckets and mm -hmm. the parts. He threw water on me. Mm -hmm. He took my shit. No. He took the iron and buried me in my face. Mm -hmm. Yes, my face. Wow. Sexually abused. Had sex when I don't want to. He forced himself on me. Mm -hmm. He he even he even had anal sex with me. Wow. Yes. And I remember one evening he he had his friends over and they all had sex with me. He made them. He watched them had sex with me. He watched them. And they beat me with the bottles, the alcohol bottles, and they hit me with it. They hit me so bad I couldn't even move the next day. Okay. Well, how about mental? How about um, verbal, <laughs> verbal abuse? What were some of the things that were was was said to you? He called me a bitch, mm -hmm. slut, and at the end of the day, he come and kiss me. And like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. What you call anything? Sex. Okay. Have sex with him and he forced himself on me, and 
I just have to do it because I didn't have any other choice. I didn't have any other option. Okay. So where are you now as it relates to relationship? Your status? I'm currently dating, but I'm dating females now. Ooh, wow. Yeah, wow. May I ask why? Why is this that you're dating? I don't, I think I've found something in females that I haven't found in men. Mm-hmm. Females are more gentle. Mm-hmm. And I think I will need more of that, more of that mm-hmm. now because I've been a lot. Okay. So why did you stay with him? Why? I don't have anywhere else to go. That's it. Okay. I remember I left my house. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to go back because my father was... Okay, so you were stuck in it. Yes, I was stuck. So what gave you the motivation to come out of it now? If you were I, stuck? I met my aunt and she tried counseling me and asked me to leave. Mm-hmm. She begged me to leave. So where did you go? I went to her house. Because she was living. To your aunt's house? Yes, she was living there. Okay. So she asked me to stay there while she's overseas. Okay. Okay, nice. Alright. Alright. And and how has this affected you now? It affects me really bad because I don't even think I can get pregnant anymore. Why? I remember one time I was pregnant and Me. Mm-hmm. I'm he sorry. On, he kept on hitting me and and I begged him to stop because he knew I was pregnant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he didn't to keep on hitting me over and over. Wow. I can't stop. I can't stop the memory. Okay. So, so you feel like um, that's one of the if that's one of the effects that you have on your know where you can't uh, get pregnant. Damaged, I think it damaged my womb. Mm-hmm. So the, the doctors were saying that my womb is kind of fragile right now. Okay, okay. So they don't think I can have any more child. Okay, so that, what what's another effect? How does this effect like affect you um, in any way today? Every guy that I've met after, I always assume that they're going to abuse me. Mm-hmm. And physically also, because if I look somewhere and somebody raise their hand, mm-hmm. I think they're going to hit me. Yeah, a witch man that's out of road, road! That's not really a good thing. That's not really a good thing to know that you have to go around and you're in so much fear. Yeah. Alright, wow. Wow, wow. All right. I've been through it. I've been through it all. All right, Miss Kimberly. Thank you very much for sharing your story with me. I am looking that my time is up, but we'll definitely continue this. Stay strong. Continue to stay focused, and I know that you're in a better place right now. Yes. All right. Thanks. You're welcome.